A local program that helps victims after tragic events getting a much needed donation tonight. Yes, yeah, thanks to a fundraiser for the owner of the downtown restaurant Acapulco Joe's. The owner seriously injured after being attacked by a customer. 24 Hour News 8's Julian Grace live downtown. Julian, first of all, how did this fundraiser get started? How much do they raise? Oh, Mike, they raised about $11,000. That's local restaurants here in the area. Now, half of that will go to the owner of Acapulco Joe's, and the other half will go to victims of violent crimes. I have a problem managing my body. It's still a little hard to handle. When we last saw him, he was battered and bruised after being beaten by a man accused of dining and dashing. We raised 11000 $139. Today was different. He was celebrated and back on his feet. This after his peers raised $11,000. Half will go to Grant, the other half to IMPD's victims' assistance. To me, it's critical. Um, when you're on the scene of a homicide, um, people understand that, okay, you, you were there, you saw the same things that they did. We've seen them time and time again at the scene of a murder investigation. They are IMPD's victim assistance unit. And Grant was happy to learn the group will get some of the funding. I'm so glad it is. I really am. You don't know what the bills are like. And I, IPD victims unit will pay up to 15000 of your bills, but that's it. That's not all. The group is a resource to victims in Marion County. This is a... Uh... A horrible thing that has happened. They help with counseling, on scene intervention, and in some cases, even housing. And Grant believes the unit is vital in helping people get their lives back. It's very difficult because you don't want to be seen as a victim. That's the first thing you, you become is a victim, and, you, and they don't like it. So the emotional side of it's difficult, but the pain that they go through is very difficult. Well, that's not all. The Victim Assistance Program, it does so much right here in Marion County. Coming up all new at 11 o'clock, I'll tell you what else the program does. I'll have it for you all new at 11. For now, reporting live in downtown Indy, Julian Grace, 24-hour news 8.